Barney didn't, so he picked up the phone. I had to dial a number, and in no time I had MCI, not to mention the extra 20% savings. Hey, pass up all that and 20 bucks in free calls? No one's that lazy. When you're running for mayor, encourage debate. What kind of a stupid question is that? Sit. Get cooperative volunteers. What, what do you think for the podium, huh? Royal Blue or Aquamarine? It's a debate, not a cotillion. And accept campaign fun. I can't think about sex with a with a bar full of registered voters. Uh, All new Northern Exposure next Monday. Just take me. Squirts, don't do that. The network will kill us. Yeah. How close do you think they can get? <laughs> Scorch premieres February 28th on CBS. The Boys of Twilight, premiering Saturday, February 29th. We're back at the Olympic Ice Hall in Alberville. After the Olympics are over, stay tuned to CBS for two nights that will blow you away. On Monday, television's hottest comedies return with all new episodes of Evening Shade, Major Dad, Murphy Brown, Designing Women, and Northern Exposure. Then on Tuesday, strap yourself in for Mariah Carey, Michael Bolton, Nirvana, Natalie Cole, and more when Whoopi Goldberg hosts the Grammy Awards. It's two nights after the Olympics that will blow you away. WTVR-TV, Richmond, Virginia, Channel 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Lisa LaFonte in the TV6 Newsroom. The polls open in under eight hours in the United States' first presidential primary, all of that in New Hampshire. In Wisconsin, Jeffrey Dahmer is beginning his life prison terms after courtroom animosity by victims' relatives caused a delay in his sentencing hearings. And a Chesterfield County budget work session ends tonight with some good news for county teachers. All the news plus job line and school board plus coming up tonight, right after the Olympics. Please join us then. Monday. Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Thursday. Um. Kellogg's Fun Pack. Choosing one is half the fun. Mom, what day is it? The 16th Olympic Winter Games continue from Alberville, France, with the ice dancing competition. Only from DuPont. Times are tough. Jobs are scarce. For real help finding a job or keeping your job secure, turn to a special Money Crunch series all this week on the CBS Evening News. I'm Jo Beth Williams, getting set for my role as Angel on the new comedy, Fish Police. Already, time for my number. Flounders in the night, one-sided glances... Carps and robbers the for the 90s. Fish Police, coming February 28th. Win a cool million. Keep your Coca-Cola medals and millions game pieces handy. Watch the Olympic Winter Games tomorrow night on CBS, and you could win a million dollars. This is CBS. A doubleheader conference collision. Georgetown battles Big East nemesis Syracuse. Then Big Ten powers meet when Indiana faces Ohio State Sunday on CBS. Monday, we're back, and the Senate is gunning for Murphy. I think they could really vote to send you up the river. The baby can't be born in a joint. All new Murphy Brown. Then, a sit-down strike's got Carlene Steen. I mean, I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm real bad. All new Designing Women. And they're all back Monday. All those who love great comedy say hi. We're back in Alberville. Tuesday on CBS. Who is the best male country vocalist of the year? Find out on the 34th Annual Grammy Awards. This woman wants to put a child abuser behind bars. He's the abuser. He's also her father. Who knows how many victims are out there? Also, what's it really like in New York's underworld? There is everything you can want down there. Ed Bradley hosts Street Stories, Thursday night at 9 on CBS.